Shrimp are wonderful, curious, and active animals in an aquarium. Bettas are one of the most varied and best fish for small gallons. On paper, these two look like a match made in heaven in a nano aquarium. However, bettas are carnivores and have a taste for shrimp. Does that mean you can't keep any shrimp with them? The answer is that there are certain shrimps you can, and this video will discuss what your options are and why bettas like to eat shrimp. Welcome back to another fun and exciting fish keeping topic here at Aquarium Store Depot, where we'll answer the question, will betta fish eat shrimps? If you're ready, let's dive right in. Popular freshwater aquarium fish known for their vivid colors and elegant fins are betta fish, also called Siamese fighting fish. But as any owner of betta fish will tell you, these fish are hostile amongst themselves and may be hostile to other species too. We'll answer the question today on whether bettas will or will not eat shrimp. But before that, let's look into why. In addition to being carnivorous, bettas are voracious eaters. It indicates that betta fish enjoy eating live food, regardless of its availability. Even sick or injured tank mates will not be spared by a betta fish. They are predators by nature, but would there be a variety of shrimp that will serve as a good companion for these bettas? The answer is yes. The biggest issue with shrimp is their size. Always consider the size of your shrimp before selecting the ideal one for your betta tank. Betta fish seem to prefer smaller shrimp as food, so pick a shrimp that is as large as or larger than your betta. The riskiest type of shrimp to place in your betta tank would be cherry shrimp. That's because they're small in size, with the male cherry shrimp growing only about an inch in length while females tend to grow a bit larger. Either way, the chances of your cherry shrimp being eaten by your betta fish are pretty high. But what if, even after all these warnings, you still want to keep your betta fish and red shrimp together? Well, you still can, but there is a chance it will get eaten. Since I know hobbyists are going to try it, here are some tips to decrease your chances of your shrimp becoming a meal for your betta. First, you have to make sure your fish are already living together. See, if you're going to eat an unfamiliar food instantly, it's either you're going to spit it out or love it. So, in order to consume it all, you have to make yourself familiar with it bite by bite. It's the same way with your fish. If your betta fish has ever been introduced to a shrimp, chances are they'll attack them right away. Thus, in order to keep them in harmony, I suggest getting a betta fish that already lives with shrimp and other small fish. This way, it'll act less territorial and aggressive towards these poor little shrimp and make great tank mates for them instead. Second, having plenty of hiding space will actually do some good. Shelter is gonna be your number one deterrent. Along with the size of the tank, make use of driftwood, caves, and live plants. That way your bettas can feel secure and be less aggressive. A heavily planted tank is highly recommended if you're dead set on keeping cherry shrimp and bettas together. And third is by getting a big tank. Keep your cherry shrimp out of your betta's sight by providing a tank big enough for them to swim freely. If you intend to keep your cherry shrimp and bettas together, I suggest getting a tank no smaller than 20 gallons with a 20 gallon long being preferable over the high version. A mono shrimp can also make excellent tank mates for betta because they can reach a length of over one inch with an average lifespan of two to three years. Unlike cherry shrimp, a mono shrimp also showcase dull colors that don't pique your bettas to attack them aggressively. If your betta fish has shown aggressive and territorial behavior in the past few days, it's highly likely that it will attack the mono shrimp as well. Thus, if your betta has never lived with a tank mate before, refrain from adding a mono shrimp since they're quite costly. Another shrimp type we've got here are the ghost shrimp varieties. If you're planning to introduce shrimp species in your betta tank for the first time, then ghost shrimp is your best bet. However, there's a good chance that your betta will eat these ghost shrimp. Ghost shrimp by nature are very skittish. Therefore, in order to provide them with a safe place, add lots of aquatic plants, driftwoods, rocks, caves, and other aquatic ornaments. The safer your ghost shrimp will feel, the more will explore the tank and come out. These are the shrimp varieties that are the riskiest to add. But what about the ones I hinted at earlier that can be kept with bettas? Okay, you've waited long enough, so here's the first. The bamboo or wood species of shrimps. You might be wondering, was this even a thing? The answer is yes. If you visit our previous video about the different types of shrimp, you'll see the beauty that this particular variety holds. Check out our video about it here on the thumbnail shown in your screen. Going back, bamboo or wood shrimp are a freshwater shrimp species that are native to Southeast Asia. These shrimp species make excellent tank mates for your bettas, since they're docile, healthy, active, and they're larger. They are really fun to keep as betta tank mates. 
Bamboo shrimp can come in small, medium, and large sizes depending on your needs. And the best thing about these shrimps is you can get them at any store, either your local store or chain. However, before buying, inspect the shrimp thoroughly. The legs, antenna, and eyes should all be healthy. The other reason bamboo shrimp are great for your betta is that they have soft exoskeletons that break down easily, just in case your betta takes a bite. Here are a few things you should keep in mind before adding bamboo shrimp to your tank. Bamboo shrimp appreciate enough live aquarium plants to provide them with places to climb on and hide under. Also, they admire other hiding places such as rocks and driftwood. The bamboo shrimp is a filter feeding shrimp. That means that it pulls food from the water column. Therefore, to increase water volume, the size of the tank should be enough to support the bamboo shrimp's food needs. I recommend getting a tank of 20 gallons or more to suffice the needs of your bamboo shrimp. And the last species I want to discuss is the vampire shrimp. This is a larger shrimp that's not predatory and will get along well with your betta. Like the bamboo shrimp, they are filter feeders and will need a larger planted tank in order to get the food they need. They also need a faster flowing tank, which would conflict with the betta. In order to work around this, I would recommend that you only keep the faster and stronger placat bettas with them. Fancy fin bettas will struggle and stress out in higher flow environments that vampires need. Also, consider a heavily planted tank that's over 2 feet in length, so you can step up a lower flow section for your betta. And there we have it, the answer to our question. Do betta fish eat shrimp, and what are the available variety of shrimps you can add in your tank? Was that all? Of course not, because I still got something here for you. When it comes to feeding betta fish and shrimp, all you need to think about is betta food. Because shrimps are scavengers, they'll eat anything provided. Thus, when you provide your betta with high quality nutritious food, know that your shrimp is well fed with whatever you feed them. You can also supplement food at night where the shrimp are going to be active and your bettas will be resting. Sinking food are best for shrimp to ensure they get the food they need without it going to waste. When it comes to shrimp, there's no difference between a male and female betta as they both can get aggressive around small shrimp. However, the biggest shrimp is out of the league of your bettas because it can't fit in their mouth. For this reason, dwarf shrimp species such as cherries are not suitable to keep with your bettas. When judging the size of your bettas, the male betta is larger than the females. Therefore, consider a female betta to be a more compatible tank mate for those shrimp. Ah, watching betta fish in your freshwater aquarium is a delightful experience. They're a stunning creation of nature. Nonetheless, they are curious creatures and they're predators. Consequently, experts advise against keeping them alongside main species of shrimp. If a betta is really hungry or feels intimidated by your shrimp, it will attack and will devour it. I know of several fish keepers who have reported that their betta fish attacked their shrimps out of the blue and without any warning. So, I hope you were enlightened with our topic today, fish keepers. If you happen to seek more information about this topic, you can visit our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com, where all your further questions will be answered. We always go into more detail in our blog posts and keep everything up to date there. Well, that's it for me. We'll see you in the next topic. As always, thanks for watching.